What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be telling you why you should be applying for the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's go ahead and get into the video. <gasps> Boom! Shit, I hit my tripod. Damn it. What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also give this video a thumbs up, it really does help me out. And comment down below if you plan on applying for this card. And guys, don't forget about my $100 American Airlines gift card giveaway that I will be doing once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you're not already subscribed, please be sure that you do so, so that way you are entered into uh, that giveaway. Also, watch the video up here that says giveaway, and make sure that you guys follow the directions there. I really appreciate it. So like I said, I'm gonna be telling you guys why you should be applying for the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card. And it's honestly only two reasons, okay? The first reason is for obviously the sign-up bonus. The sign-up bonus is actually elevated at the moment when I applied for the card it was a 50,000 point sign up bonus and now it is at 60,000 so an extra 10,000 is pretty good in my opinion the only difference here is is that when I applied it had a zero annual fee introductory offer and then $95 into the second year and since the sign up bonus is a little higher now 10,000 points they are actually not going to waive that $95 annual fee in the first year, but you still get a lot of value in the first year. So the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card is basically the Chase Sapphire Reserves like little brother that gets beat up all the time and big brother doesn't help him out at all, right? So basically it's the same exact card. This card gets less uh, earnings on travel and dining and it has no perks but the sign up bonus is one of the reasons that i said that you should be applying for it and that is why i'm making this video obviously so yeah so uh you get two points per dollar spent on travel and dining and one point on everything else so it wouldn't hurt if you had a player two as well that could also sign up for it that way you guys could both sign up together and use your points together for a trip that you would like to go on. That would be 120,000 Ultimate Rewards points. And if you're not familiar with what Ultimate Rewards points are, uh, it is Chase's points currency, and they are actually pretty valuable, valued at around two cents per point if used the right way, sometimes higher if you're redeeming through Hyatt Hotels. So yeah, guys, so it wouldn't hurt to apply for maybe one or two just saying and the second reason to apply for this card would be to earn those ultimate rewards points and get familiar with the ultimate rewards uh, portal with how to use the points um, because in my opinion chase points are generally the easiest points to redeem and to understand they have a ton of travel partners but there are only two or three travel partners at the moment that are the best um, to redeem chase points one being Hyatt and up until I believe November, you could still get really good value through United and then you can also get really good value through Southwest Airlines. So um, those are the best ways to go if you are planning to sign up for this card. And guys, at the moment, it is a 60,000 point sign up bonus. And if you value that at two cents per point, that is a pretty good return on your spending. Uh, in terms of minimum spend and the annual fee. I believe you still get a lot of value in the first year. I am actually almost uh, up on my first year with the Chase Sapphire Preferred and I'm actually going to be downgrading it only because like I said, the only value you will get out of this card in my opinion would be for the sign up bonus and that's about it. It's probably one of the best starter cards uh, other than you know the no annual fee chase cards uh, just because you are able to redeem those points for travel and with the other chase cards, the no annual fee cards, uh, you're not able to redeem those for travel. I mean, 
Chase does allow you to redeem them for travel, but only at the cashback rate, which is only one cent per point instead of the ultimate rewards points, uh, which are valued at two cents per point. So you can get a lot more value if you have one of these cards and you, com and you pair it with uh, some of their no annual fee cards. I honestly like the business cards better, but hey, that's just my opinion. Maybe you guys might like the personal cards better, but hey, everyone's different. Not everybody drinks the same cocktail, you know? So yeah, anyways guys, if you are planning to apply for this card or you would like to support the channel, I have a link down below in the description for the 60,000 point sign up bonus. If you guys were to apply using my link, you would get the 60,000 point sign up bonus. I mean, you would get it anyways if you chose not to, but you would be supporting the channel because I would also get, I believe, a 10,000 point bonus if you get accepted for the card. So I really appreciate it if you guys would use my links down below. Anything down there would really support the channel and I really appreciate it, guys. And that'll conclude today's video, guys. For video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below to let me know if you guys plan on applying for it and what you think about this card. Do you find it valuable or would you rather go in another route? Don't forget to hit the bell notifications down the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit is your life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.